Hello everyone, hope you guys are having an amazing day XRP is at around 47 cents guys just ranging at this time But Bitcoin is pumping as you guys can see by the chart Why is it? Probably because of the BlackRock news that just broke loose guys right So let's prepare because it seems like it seems as Forecast sunny skies ahead why from Jim Rickards our man in Washington Right he got sunglasses on wait didn't Gary Gensler put on sunglasses in his profile picture as well? So what's up with these sunglasses guys, right? Hmm, deal with it. But again, sunny skies ahead possibly. Why? Now guys, we're starting off on part of XRP in the XRP community. Now this is called quite interesting because Bearable Guy 123 did say that 2023 will be the year that the truth will be brought forth into the light. Right? So this is why. This is absolutely just ridiculous guys, check this out. Oh my. Brad Gollinghouse replies to this tweet, Hey you Ripple guys, Brad Gollinghouse, David Shores, I'm just curious, will you actually do something to address this issue besides asking for an investigation on Twitter? Now what, what is this investigation about? In Investigation 13, an investigation must be conducted to understand what or who influenced Hinman, why conflicts, or at the very least appearances of conflicts um, were ignored, and why the SEC touted the speech knowing that it would create greater confusion. Wow. It's all about this confusion tactic, guys, right? And this was a threat which which we have seen before. But check this out. Brad Gollinghouse replies with yes. Whoa, guys. So if no one else is going to be investigating the SEC, right? Oh, don't worry, guys. Ripple is fed up at this point in time, so they will. It's, it's time to get ex it's time to get these agencies exposed, guys. The government agencies know why. Check this out. Uh, to your question, why Ripple? Uh, that is a good question. I'm not sure I have a good answer to it. What I will tell you is that the loss. Uh... No clue, guys, but. Oh boy, this will not end well for Ethereum Joseph, as you guys can see right here, Joseph Lubin, right? Um, all these Ethereum maxis and whatnot, guys. Co founder of Ethereum, founder of Consensus. Hmm, people claiming otherwise are wrong. Lubin bragged too much about his friends at the SEC for not going to be the per for not going to be the perfect fall guy for JP Morgan. Now remember all these things are interconnected, right guys? Now in the next video today, you have to pay attention to this next video guys because we're going to connect Tether, um, possibly even Coinbase, but Ethereum, Bitcoin all to China guys. Right, and this is possibly why they got the free pass and whatnot. So let's pay attention. But here we go, guys. Next week comes from Brad Garlinghouse trying something new. Some thoughts from me on the events, specifically the release on the Hinman documents of this week. For me, this has all been a personal bent to it and felt like it warranted some personal comments, okay? So let's check this out, guys, because this seems to be very important. Right, and let's, and let's hear Brad Garlinghouse thoughts and whatnot about this whole situation, guys. Check this out. Hi, I'm Brad Garlinghouse. As many of you know, I don't often make videos like this, but then again, not every week has been like this one. A few days ago, after two years, seven court orders, and over $100 million in legal bills, the Hinman speech documents, including internal SEC emails and comments leading up to this now infamous 2018 speech, they've finally been unsealed. Hinman's speech created new factors to determine if a token becomes sufficiently decentralized to no longer be considered a security. At best, these documents show that senior officials at the SEC couldn't agree on the law and told Bill Hinman directly he would confuse the public even more about the rules for crypto. At worst, they show that Hinman deliberately ignored the law, and he tried to create new laws, something only Congress can do. And while he was a public servant, Hinman received millions of dollars of payments from his law firm, which was part of an alliance with others that had a vested interest in this speech. This speech isn't about any one token or any one blockchain. This is about showing the extent to which the SEC has relentlessly pursued enforcement actions against crypto players while professing fake open arms and calls to come in and register, all the while lying about their so-called guidance. But why, guys? As they did say before, it's about to, or it's, it's all about to create confusion. And obviously, in the way of creating confusion, they'll make a lot of money doing so, guys. Right? Not only, not only that, but as well as delaying everything, right? It's all a delay mechanism at the end of the day, guys. And I'm pretty sure Ethereum, all these all these S coins and meme coins will literally go away, guys, in due time. Not financial advice at the end of the day. As some of you may know, Ripple spent years proactively engaging with the SEC. I personally met with Jay Clayton and Bill Hinman with no lawyer present. Why would I need a lawyer if we were all coming together in good faith? 
We answered every question they had, and not once did they suggest to me that XRP was a security. We were fully transparent, not knowing they would then use this information against us. The SEC hit us with a surprise Wells notice, saying they were considering suing us for breaking securities laws and still refused to provide specifics. To those that have recently been hit with their own Wells notices and lawsuits, this likely sounds all too familiar. When the lawsuit did drop against us, days before Christmas, a very Grinch-like touch, they made it personal. They sued Chris Larson and they sued myself, alleging we should have known all along that XRP was a security. You can now see plain as day, they couldn't even agree amongst themselves. And to me, it still seems like they can't. What we saw play out in our case is exactly what's still happening. The SEC is looking to kill crypto innovation in the United States and its current chair, an unelected bureaucrat, I might add, is weaponizing the lack of regulatory clarity to exert jurisdiction over the entire crypto space. This is the definition of putting politics over people. It's the pursuit of power over sound policy. The SEC tried to bully us into acquiescing. Thankfully, we have had the resources to fight back. And now we can all see what they fought so hard to hide. They knowingly created confusion about the rules and they used that confusion to regulate through enforcement. That's bad faith, plain and simple. Ultimately, as our lawsuit comes to a close, for so many others, it's just starting. The fight for clarity has to continue. I just wanna conclude by saying to my colleagues here at Ripple, to my family, my friends, everyone who has supported us over the past two and a half years, and certainly to the whole of the XRP army, a very heartfelt and a very genuine thank you for that support. There we go, guys. There we go. It's time to really expose the SEC, right? It literally is time, guys. No way. What, what timeline are we on? This is absolutely just ridiculous. We're talking about a government agency, guys. What's more important is that it's truly the first time the SEC was forced to be transparent about their lack of internal coherence or faithful application of the law, acknowledging they may not have the jur uh, jurisdiction to fill the regulatory gap over crypto at all. They have preached and demanded transparency from those they regulate, but fight tooth and nail when held to the same standards, guys. Not to mention, they're about to pass the BlackRock ETF, right? So they're playing, Hi, they're playing I'm sides, guys. The SEC is definitely playing sides, right? It's absolutely it's crazy. Now, the new the new narrative, guys. We can't sue Ethereum because we need to protect investors. This is crazy. Wait, what? JP Morgan says Ethereum could be put into other other category by United States Congress. Whoa, to avoid classifying it as a security but to protect investors. Wow, so obviously JP Morgan is connected to Ethereum as well, guys, right? Wow, there, <laughs> there is a web of corruption, it seems like, right? Let's put XRP into another category of that category. Oh, wow, guys, what? Guys, it's about to accelerate, right? I'm so, guys, I'm super excited because it seems as Ripple, the Ripple team, is about to what destroy the sec remember barry gollinghouse is still smiling he hasn't changed his profile picture but gary did but it seems as breaking united states government prosecutors have decided to withdraw for new charges brought against ftx founder sam bankman fried wait what again if you're with them and we and and then we literally just named him bank man right think about it guys if you're with Literally, the founder of FTX was is connected to these people, right? So this why, how is he still not in prison, guys? Right? Let's think about it. Look at that, guys. Come on. Um, literally in the bear's cave, so to speak. It's only the largest fraud in United States history, where he literally stole uh, stole everyone's money and used it to lobby for politicians. Exactly, right? A lot of money laundering. A lot of um siphoning of money as well guys but he's still not in jail neither is ethereum wait a minute what so this tells us one thing they go only after the legit projects mm, xrp surely the chosen one guys in conclusion that's what i've come up with right at the same time this is so weird what's happening here from baba cooks two years only one account tweeted about lucifer wait a minute we see the chief uh Legal officer at Ripple stating this, okay? Wait a minute. Prometheus is ready. If I remember correctly, this was from uh, Sir Alderodi. The moral, the moral of the 19th century opus uh, Prometheum, right? Unbound is that it's more heroic to actively support justice for all and suffer the punishment than strike a deal with a corrupt authority for the sake of personal comfort and gain. Wow. Right, fighting for the whole, uh, fighting for the whole industry, for the people. Now, 
Ripple legal chief on him in emails, right? Uh, from CoinDesk, which we may talk about in the next video as well. There's there's a tie of, there's literally a connection on the board, guys, right? A, a huge amount of dot connecting to be made. But wait a minute, in his picture, right, or, or in the, in the background of of the video, guys, check this out. I Ripple, right? Or I I love LDN or I Ripple LDN, guys. Wait, what? LDN, wait, <laughs> hold on a minute. This is actually, when I see this, I'm like, I got mind blown, right? So Lucifer and Prometheus, right? Wait a minute, guys. What are the odds three days uh, before London begins? Store has directly behind him, LDN, and it seems as the Statue of, the Statue of Liberty is there as well, guys. I always said to be good at riddles, uh, open up occult books and learn, right? Oh, and, and not to mention Lucifer and Prometheus, right there. Uh, I think I, I'm not too sure about it, guys. But Pr uh, Prometheum is here. They are, guys, building the world's first SEC and Fin Finra registered full service market for digital asset securities. Wow, the name the name fits it all, guys. Right? Interesting, guys. This is how you guys know it's all planned ahead of time. Not financial advice, let's be prepared guys, right? Today, this was the final two, we did, we did have a lot more to talk about, but we will go on a tangent if we, didn't, if we don't stop now guys, and it will be a long video if we don't stop right now. But we have a lot, in the upcoming days guys, it's going to be pretty crazy, so let's prepare. Actually, in the upcoming months and years, right? From all these events that will accelerate, let's be prepared. Not financial advice, not financial advice, and never financial advice guys. But it says so guys, amazing, it is. See ya.